Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3. Now last episode we, we were sprinting through again, just uh, speed 5, a lot of production, uh, a lot of infrastructure, actually if you take a look at infrastructure map mode now, you can see there's a bunch more up in East Prussia and kind of down along this region as well. I, I threw in a lot of infrastructure onto the production queue just to get my practicals up and it's starting to work. Everything's, uh, we, well, let's actually take a look out here. Uh, construction practical of 6.6 .6 now. And uh, if we look at production, like battle, sh all, all these ships are taking, well, the Scharnhorst is gonna be done. Well, no, it's next year. Well, we got time, we got time, it's okay, it's okay. Naval, okay, we got a lot of tech coming in, a lot of, well, actually, if we look right here, these guys should get, be getting upgraded right now. Donor 18 Gs, yes, they actually have been upgraded. Battle cruiser, engines, heavy armor designs, those are for tanks. Good, 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 good. And boop, 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 right down here, battle cruiser engines. So now, if we went to production and looked at, not air wing, although we have naval bombers, uh, ugh, look, look how beautiful those planes are, the Hinkle 5091, so beautiful. Uh, at least the donor 18G looks a little better. Um, what is our what is our strategic bomber right now? Uh, actually, it should it should be the same as it was before. But uh, capital, let's actually it's our we already took it off. All right. And what I messed up last time is I, I I threw everything on here on the list and I was like let's do everything and then I was like you know what that's probably a huge waste of time and effort. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take a look at this the this air stuff a little more closely and decide which ones we actually want. So pilot training, um, close air support. Tact well, actually, let's do, we're gonna have a lot of planes of all types. So we're gonna do all the pilot training. We're gonna do all the ground crew training. So we're gonna have a lot of types. Uh, ground air, well, let's go down this way. T uh, tactics, um, air superiority is not really something I use too much. So we're gonna leave that one off, but we are gonna do interception ground attack. I think down here. And we're not going to fighter bomber to interceptor conversion. I don't really like. I like to have it kind of better at the ground attack than the air attack. All right. So a bombers, um, reserve target focus or interdiction. Uh, well, I usually don't do interdiction. Um, I do do logistical attacks. I do do installation attacks. I do do air base attacks. So there's that. Uh, naval. Uh, let's see, all in naval stuff facing Britain, super important. Uh, targeting focus, we're going to do a uh, bomber target focus. Let's see, forward air control, frontline target focus, ground attack organization penalty, both good. Tricky round. Okay, so we most we actually left most of it on, but we did take some of them off. So it's some stuff that we're not going to worry about later. Infantry support tanks. So that was heavy AA guns, which is where I think. Thought of, where, where was it? Are here? Heavy AA guns? No. Where is it on here? Actually, let's put these at the top of the list because they're almost done. Where is it on this list? Heavy... Oh, uh, cruisers. Heavy AA for cruisers. So cruisers, heavy AA. There it was. All right, nice. All right, let's crank this up. Get this going. Air bases for northern Germany. Oh, God. Just air bases left and right. Light bomber prototype, air bases for West Germany. So now what we can do, you know, it's really, it's really cranking on these air bases, isn't it? It really wants the air bases to be a thing. I'm a little, I'm actually a little surprised at how, how massive the investment in air bases are, but they're pretty much free, so. Like, they're just going to pop up on their own for the most part. Yeah, you can see them boom, 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 all over the place like that. We're actually running out of spies again. Well, we have been playing on speed five, so a lot of time has passed. SS um, Junker schools were introduced to 37 and official cadet schools and training centers. The SS during the Second World War. That's for training officer candidates. Yeah. So, leadership, mo less money, more leadership, officer recruitment up. Need more consumer goods, but we get industrial capacity with level five leadership. So basically, Broschwig here and uh, Rossheim are well. You no longer have leadership in Rossheim, so everything's going to move to Broschwig there. Yeah, sounds good to me. So what was just built over here? Uh, some more infrastructure. 
You're gonna be able to, like in Germany, the infrastructure is so high, uh, and it's been high for so long because Germany's been building railroads for God knows how long. You know, look at these guys. They're not gonna be done till September. So these ones, yeah, I, I think if you don't get them on there, the the absolute second you're supposed to, I think it messes up. And they get, and then you have to wait a, a short period of time. But I don't, and I don't think it actually adds to your construction practical. So I don't think I'm, I can actually um, kind of finagle the system there. <laughs> Ooh, well. So these guys are, well, pretty much everybody's getting some, some upgrades right now. Flying boats are getting upgrades. Submarines are getting upgrades. These are only Type Two. Submarines. They could use full-on upgrades. So three-man turret, that was a one-off tech. A thousand kilogram bombs, that was also a one-off tech. That was over here. So now uh, the three-man turret was a pretty um, like influential design change in, in, in tank construction. Basically, it allowed um, the commander to have better situational awareness because he didn't actually have to command and fire the gun himself. Now, I think it added some plane-related stuff on here. Yeah, it unlocked a bunch of prototypes. Yeah, so we're going to add all this plane... St well, not that one, but no, not that one. All this plane stuff's getting added on because our... Our aviation is going to be super important. We have 70-something projects on here. Actually, how did this get messed up? Damn it! Technology. Normal. Wait. AI control sl slider AI... Oh, it, it, it slidered this up here. That's what I accidentally did. So it was, I was just waste. I was like, that seems low. Actually, let's, um, let's espionage it just for a couple days. Get our spies back up. Wow. Go China. Government secret, uh, secretary focus. Do, 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 do. Ruling party support. Yes, let's do the ruling party. The great Hong Kong typhoon. 11,000 people were killed. May God have mercy on their soul. Air bases for northern Germany. So these ones we're going to put up there correct like and make sure they we're not actually waiting on them. I feel like that's a small I feel like that's a small bug. Not a big deal, but it's a small bug, I think. So we yeah, we built um air bases here. Uh, we already had that one and we built air bases there. So there's all these air bases all over the place. Look what ja uh, Japan's doing down here. Not half bad, if you ask me. Not half bad, Japan. But we're, we'll, we'll see what happens when they hit the mountains. Defense uh, research report. After a lengthy period of toiling, we were finally prepared to report back with a really. So what do we get? 60% chance of having no effect. 25% chance of having no effect. 10% chance of having no effect. Or 5% chance of research failed. So why did I do that? Nothing happened. Minor research... Well, okay. I didn't manage to generate some light innovation. 7% chance... Oh, so there's basically a varied chance of getting a little bit for tank-related stuff. Hitler steps in, demanding action. Not the first time he's done it. Hitler is kind of an ornery dude. So when, when do you... Anschluss Austria... 11th Party Congress. Gain industrial capacity here and there. Uh, well, actually, this is really good. Yeah, we're gonna definitely going to do it. So right now, yeah, okay, we're spot. I don't know if it actually counts above 99 there. I do not actually know. It might. It might actually count above 99 and keep track of what's there, but I do not know if it does or not. Aircraft carrier armor advances, aircraft carrier hangar advances, air launch torpedo advances, air base, air bases built, destroyer crew training, so a lot of, you know, when you're playing on speed 5, and, I, and I, I think you guys can tell, I'm trying to get to the more interesting stuff. I'm trying to get to when we actually start poking the world in the eye with a stick. So cruiser crew training. So aircraft carrier armor needs to be at the top, because aircraft carriers are important. But we can't get the next one. Oh, until th these ones are, are finished. So uh, I would imagine I put those at the top of the list. Aircraft carrier armor. Aircraft carrier engine is where? Well, we can pop it back on. 
It was not where it needed to be. Alright, so I would like to at least get that a little bit higher. Get those techs up. I wonder when the next, um... Like, I'm not building a lot of units right now. I'm not really focusing on building units just because I'm expecting a lot to uh, pop up event-wise. And I mean, like, eight divisions have 12, something like that. Minor breakthrough, great. Getting a little bit here, a little bit there. Aircraft carrier engine, there we go. Uh, destroyer escort roll advance. So that was a naval tech. Boom. Construction practical up to 7.1. It was like 4 something, so we almost doubled it. We do have industrial capacity in getting built here and there. So hopefully that'll make a difference. Like cruiser training. Like cruiser escort roll. Yeah, a lot of this naval tech is, um, is finishing up this, uh, this down here. Like this stuff over here. There we go. I mean, we're going to have a small navy, but it needs to be good. It needs to be a good navy. It needs to be potent. And when it when it goes into combat, it needs to it needs to do its job and it needs to get back safely. That's kind of what I'm I've got in my mind here. It's like I need these guys to capital ship damage control systems. Uh, I need these guys to get out there, do what they need to do, and get back. And it's not going to be a huge navy, but it needs to be effective. Battleship crew training, commander decision making. That one and that one. So, uh, transport ship hull, battle fleet concentration, that's gonna finish up pretty soon. Positioning for the big ships, the battleships. There we go. Take that off. Oh, a lot of division. Okay, oh yes, we're gonna upgrade these divisions, we're gonna do it on the map. We're going to keep uh, upgrade the 13th Infantry Division to Motorized on the map. Uh, infantry Division. Okay, this these are more Motorized Divisions, I think. Uh, on the map, yep. Wait, what is this one? Mechanical Unit Established. Uh, let the French Divisions. Okay. For the map. U-Boat Flotilla. Uh, form the famous U-Boat. Okay, let's... Um, Let's do it on the map. And Flak Regiment Garing. Garing. Uh, oh, battery 105 millimeter. Keep Garing happy. Um, uh, let's put those ones on the production queue just for shits and giggles, basically. Alright, so now where did these guys... Did they did they move around or did they upgrade on the map? Oh, this is this is the... Um, this is the brigade we, we, we built. Like pan so it's a very small amount of men. What is it? What is its what is its purpose? They're all attachments. It's a very small. It doesn't even have a command structure. Hmm. Wonder what wonder what it would be good. I guess it would be good for you know low supply areas, things like that. I'm 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 actually kind of curious. So I'm looking for anything that says well. Well, you guys aren't attached. Panzer, 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 Panzer. Well, see, somebody disappeared from here. I'm not seeing any motorized units. I, I told it to do it on the map, so they shouldn't be in the production queue anywhere. Flat cartridge gearing. There we go. Put that at the top. Not down here. I don't actually see them anywhere. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. Uh, there's one. Hmm. Well, we can open up here and try to find them on here. Um. Looking for motorized units at oh, turtles. What's a turtle? U boat flotilla. It's like, what does the picture of a turtle mean? So like this guy, that's motorized, right? There's that one. It's that one. Oh, here's it. Here it is. This one. This one. It's motorized right there. Just moving them into a central location so I can find them. It's a U-boat flotilla. So that's three. Shouldn't there be four? Must have missed them somewhere.
Well, there's one, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, no, there was four. I just counted wrong. All right, so they, they, it was there. Uh, industrial capacity. Eh. Well, some more U-boats are going to finish up. Oh, November 21st, so this, we're, we're spending a little time building his, his, his precious flat guns. So now, transport ships. Those are important. Transport ships are important. All right, 38 tech we can safely keep on the list now. 39 tech, 38 tech. Let's see, capital ship damage control, float planes. I'd like to get the aircraft carrier 38 tech before I actually build the carrier, so that it at least has decent, you know, you know, decent uh, uh, tech on it. So they're not going to get completely outplayed. Like, I'm not terribly afraid of the British carriers. Um, they were usually, I mean, I don't know how if the game accounts for it, but they're usually smaller and uh, carried fewer planes, but were more heavily armored, things like that. The American ones are usually just huge and tons of planes, and that's what's scary. So submarines finished, so we can add. We can actually just put those right there. And are these Type Sevens? They are Type Sevens. So if we went to, like, no, these guys cannot be upgraded. They, they might do it themselves at some place, but I don't have the option to upgrade them. And uh, Green, well, let's um, let's just put it here in Potsdam for a second. And these guys, uh, mediation of the Sino-Japanese conflict. So we might fight for the common em enemy. Asian affairs don't matter me. German mediation. Okay, so in air aircraft guns, heavy air aircraft guns, motorcycle recon, HQ defense, and paratroopers. What the hell good is this guy? I mean, some weird units here. I mean, I'm sure I can use the like like all these guys. I'm sure I can use in combat. I'm just like thinking when I would use them in combat. So let's um let's move these guys over here, and we'll we'll put the Panzers in a core. We'll put the motorized infantry in a core, and we'll put those in a, in a mo kind of a, a Panzer army. Is what I'm thinking. Carrier crew training. Boom. We're not on spies again. This one's about to finish. There we go. So we got a lot of stuff to work with. Carrier group doctrine. That's the one we just did. Got to pay more attention. Bank, Bank of International Settlements. 4,000 supplies for 600 money. Seems... Yeah, money is seem money is important in this game. I found it, it it is important. I feel like the Panzer should have, you know, actual cores. Well, you know what we could do? This should have Panzer core, you know, actual Panzer core cores. Is this Okay, this is that guy. Okay. Well, there's more men in here than I initially I I guess I thought there were. It'll work. It'll it'll work as a as a unit. So what we can do? Let's grab all these guys, add a command structure. Grab all these guys, add a command structure. Put them together right over here. This is gonna be like the first Panzer army. So what we're gonna want to do is uh, this is the leader of a Panzer army. So we're obviously going to or a Panzer specifically a tank corps. Well, there we go. Battle expert, offensive. Is there anything tank specific? Kriegsmarine Command. Logistical Wizard. Defensive. Nah. Well, I think the guy who has it right now is, is perfectly suited for the job. Kesselring. Interesting. Yeah, Kesselring. You're good. You're fine with... Perfectly fine with Kesselring. Famous German general. All right, so industrial capacity just got built down here in Breslau. It's definitely going up, but you know, the thing about in building industrial capacity is that you have to keep an eye on your resources. I went like, I've done it before where I went super, super heavy, super heavy into industrial capacity, and it came back and bit me in the ass because I just blew through, absolutely blew through my resources by like 1941. 
So like any, what I like to usually like to do is any place that has that's urban. I'll, I'll pop in the the industry stuff, just so I can try and keep track of where things are. Now I wish there was a way I could find the heavy in industry on the map. I mean, it's some I, some some of it's I'm, I'm I'm popping in here and there and finding without too much trouble. But so let's actually move these guys to the bottom of the list so this stuff goes first. All right, good. How's our practical? Seven point one hasn't moved. So it's January of 38. We have high popularity now. Uh, annual espionage focus. Um, oh, ran out of spies again. National unity is high. Uh, change our, we can reduce our neutrality. Reduce, let's let's reduce our neutrality. National focus. Um, resources. Let's do resources. Economic boost. We're going to do long term. Uh, Brandenburg Commando Unit. Raise the Brandenburgers. Hell yeah. Units of the Brandenburgers operated on almost all fronts. The invasion of Poland, Denmark, Norway, the Battle of France, Operation Barbarossa, and Finland, Greece, the invasion of Crete, Romania, Bulgaria, and Yugoslavia. Some units were sent to infiltrate India, Afghanistan, and Middle East countries in South Africa. They also trained for Operation Felix, the planned seizure of Gibraltar, and Operation Sea Lion. They had stunning success early in the war, acting as advanced units, capturing strategic bridges, tunnels, forts, rail yards in Poland and the Netherlands. It was achieved three units of Brandenburgers, the first in 1938, second in early 1940, and the last one in the middle of 1940. After being deployed, they will need to be given time to upgrade before they're fully combat capable. Yes. So Brandenburgers, where did they deploy to? There they are right there. So commandos plus elite infantry, nice. Chili, tank destroyer advances, armored car advances, the Ark Royal, an aircraft carrier. Is that an aircraft? I believe it is an aircraft carrier. So uh, the Siegfried line, the original Siegfried line, there's a line of defensive forts and tank defenses built by Germany at a section of the Hindenburg Line in northern France during World War One. We have opportunity to extend it from Switzerland to Kalkar in order to defend against a Western assault. So from Switzerland to where's Kalkar? I have no idea where that is. So uh, bunker, bunker down and match the Maginot. Forts and pillboxes all over the place. Uh, so until September, we'd have less IC, lose 12,000 supplies and 50,000 men. Or uh, we will build strong defenses, but attack is the best defense. Gain some fortresses, but not gain fortresses, but not pillboxes. I don't think. I mean, static defenses. Is that really the way to go? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna teach the Magino who's boss here, and it's the West. I'm I'm more worried about the East. So no, let's do no need, no need to extend the Siegfried line. I don't think that's necessary. So we actually do have a little bit of IC finishing up. God, we keep getting our shit stolen. I don't know who's stealing what, but it's annoying me. So tank destroyer designs. It's starting to infuriate me, though. Bastards keep stealing my goddamn tech. Naval unit ground true advances. Uh, 24 C. Yes, we are going to build another large cannon. Every large cannon it offers me, I'm going to build, and I hope they get bigger. A large caliber machine guns. Very nice. I just saw something down here, I thought. Oh, more submarines. Uh, national recruiting policy. I tend to do this. I see efficiency for production. Open the ranks to anyone. Makes me nervous because of all the negatives there. But we, we really don't need to right now. We're just going to do balanced and sane right now. I kind of go with balanced and sane most of the time. So at least we've made it through all 36 and all 37. It is now 38. The Blomberg Frisch Affair. 
scandals in early 1938 resulted in the subjugation of the German armed forces to Hitler. Ah, I know what this is. I think one of them was gay or something like that, and they, they caught him. Von Blomberg died. Von Frisch dies. Removed, removed. We need them to stay. We need them to, so we'll gain descent, lose or... And we got... I hate doing it, but that's kind of the name of the game at this point. Should I be... A, I feel like I should be building more units. Are we gonna... I, I, I thought more would kind of pop in. Because we were getting a bunch for a while there. But now, not so much. Did I really tell it to build... U-boat after U-boat after U-boat after U-boat after U-boat like that? I must have, but let's take those off, actually. I must have told it to do it. Diesel engines. Single engine proto prototype advanced. That's good. Alright, so, uh... Uber Commando der Wehrmacht. Okay, take command. Lose one... What is this? This is a creation of a de facto command of the Western Force. Okay. So we can OKW or reorganize the Luftwaffe command structure. Well, let's see what happens. OKW. All right. And uh, we're just we're going to take it. We're going to reorganize it. Okay. So Luftwaffe reorganization. I don't really know if this is. We gain officers and organization and lose some supplies. I don't. Not exactly sure what this is doing. I think I have an idea. So 41, take that off the list. What else was on there? Armor plate thickness. And what else was it? Four engine bomber crew layout, so that would be prototype. Is that in here somewhere? Well, we can add this stuff on. Air systems? Hmm. Hmm. I don't even know where that was. Well, we, I guess we could just go to the bottom of the list and go... Uh, four... What is what? Four engine... Four and Well, it'll tell me on here, right? Armament. So it's an armament. That's where it was. Boom! There it is. Uh, Alright. We're gonna look past that. Alrighty, good. Go, 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 go. Tech, 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 tech. Road network advances. It's going to give me a road network level 3, which is what supply throughput. Or organization regain rate. I don't know if that's what that is. Okay. There we go. So how, how messed up is this command structure now? Well, it's still pretty bad. I mean, we we're, we're, we're before war actually breaks out, we will organize it and, and set it up and whatnot. Let's see, close air support, assault glider. We probably should start organizing these interceptors. Let's um, let's move some of them over here. But what we can do is let's see the medium bombers. It's these guys. Let's just set them. Uh, we probably are going to need. Well, they're they're pretty long range, so. We need twin-engine fighters to escort them. Well, nothing I have is very long range right now, I guess. Well, like, look at this. 870. I don't know. That's not too bad. I was looking at kilometers per hour. So, yeah, these guys could escort them pretty well. Yeah, let's add that on there. Uh, I mean, there's still a little ways down the list, but it's okay. Welded plate armor construction, fighter pilot training, interception tactics. That was over here. Super, super large amounts of text. Uh, let's actually espionage, min-max espionage for a sec. Get those spies back because I completely forgot about them. That's probably why we're getting our tech stolen is because we have no spies doing any sort of defensive actions. I mean, I was honestly hoping to steal a little bit more from the Brits. I mean, I stole one tech, I think, from them. Nothing terribly important. Uh, thousand kilogram bomb development stolen. Speaking of which... Right, you stay there. 
So the, the, these core commands are mildly combat effective. You, we need to just tighten up the line there. Motorized, well, all the fast guys are going to be blasting through right over here. So let's move those guys over here. Never actually done the invasion of France with the Black Eye Smile. I, I, I played Black Eye Smile as Germany a long, long time ago. But never, you know, that was, that was before anybody really knew what it was. It was a very long time ago. And I haven't played it on Black Ice since, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go. Seaplane tender stolen. Damn it. How do you prevent that? Counter espionage? Find and neutralize enemy spies. Support ruling party. Race national unity. We can take those off and just do counter espionage, I guess. Only caught three. Romania, I think we're we're increasing their threat. So that should make them be able to join us, right? Money, ruling party support, ruling party support. Alright, so which one did I put where? So tanks. Let's go like this. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's move you guys actually down this way. Go with them. There we go. And we only have Panzer Kampf walking Mark 1s. I mean, it's nothing special. Tank-wise, at least. Well, if, we, if we went to production, went to brigade, would it actually be any good? Off one. We can build 3s for regular armor. SS Panzers probably... Oh, Panzer 38 uh, Ts. Those are uh, Czech tanks. This is actually, I think, a multi turreted monstrosity that didn't really exist outside of paper. Well, I think, you know, they built... Nah, nah, I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure they built some. I'm pretty sure there's photographic records of it existing. I don't think it was very important. So, should we start... It's March of 1938. We haven't really done much. Production. All the production went into, you know, industrial capacity and infrastructure and things like that. We're building ships for a long period of time. Anschluss of Austria, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Boom. Two Anschluss or not? Um, yes, go ahead. We're going to take Austria. Annexation. Form divisions or keep the manpower? Inherit Austrian divisions? Mm, yes. So that should give us a, a big immediate boost. Let's give it another data tick to see if it, eh, it's not as much as I thought. But, let's see what we got to work with here. We've got, um, got, uh, motorized. So you, my friend, are gonna go over here and join the other motorized core. Hanging out right there. We have two mountain, uh, well, yeah, you, you, you're, you're right, you're right where you need to be. Um, German-Romanian oil agreement, okay. If both parties accept the treaty, Germany will receive 50% plus uh, of crude oil production, while Romania will receive opposite. 5% I see as well as some uh, cooperation units. Ask them. Excellent. Strategic effect will appear. So crude oil, and we like each other now. Uh, yes, we are going to uh, form the other brigade, activate the unit. So let's move... Well, actually, let's mo leave you guys over here. And where's that other mountain division that I had laying around. Oh, he's right there. So you're going to join them. Okay, so those are mine. Now, what do we got here? Well, we got three interceptors. That's good. Let's move them uh, over to the border with France. Actually, we're starting to run long here. We're not starting to run long. We've been running long. Um, ooh. That's... Is that... Basically... Oh, you know, that's that's the command structure there. So we're going to grab um, uh, you and you, infantry, infantry. And you're going to uh, probably come up, why don't we come up, send them up here and uh, join the forces that are mustering over in that direction. Air bases for southern Germany. Man, this pops up a lot. A little bit more, you know what, and it just messed up again. I think you need to pause it when this happens. 
Treaty of Munich. Wow, that popped up real quick. Well, look at that. We just took uh, the Sudetenland. Well, I didn't expect that to happen right after uh, each other. I thought there was a little little wiggle room in there, but uh, we grabbed it. Uh, grabbed a little bit more I see just four, but this is you know, it was basically uh, their forts and stuff like that. So, we're going to leave this uh, this episode right here. Germany has increased in size. size. We did the Anschluss of Austria and the uh, Treaty of Munich. So, uh, we are getting very much closer to where we need to be uh, you know, slapping people around wise. So everybody, if you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like, leave me those comments right down below, and if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.